Hello everybody, Christian Charcoal is here. Welcome to episode 2 of Minecraft and Marxism. Um, we are, we just got finished explaining the absolute basics of the labor theory of value, and now we're going to get a little bit deeper into it. You can think of this one as labor theory of value um, 201 if you want, um, or production in a Marxist sense. And one thing I do want to add, and I guess just really um, highlight, and emphasize is the point that value, the term value, has its own meaning in Marxism. It, it's not it's not like uh, when neoclassical economics talks about value, they have a theory called the utility theory of value, which is that the value of a commodity is based on um, the, the marginal utility that the consumer gets from consuming it. It's uh, it's a lot of nonsense, honestly. But um, um, it that doesn't even ha you know the when they talk about value in that sense, it's not even the same type of value that Marx is talking about. Um, for Marx, value just means the amount of socially socially necessary labor time um, embedded in the production process, used in the production process, and then Marx goes on to use that to kind of explain the relationships between production and commodities and capitalism and price and labor, wages, all of that stuff. So, um, you can disagree uh, with certain aspects of Marxism, but the labor theory of value is not really something that you can prove or disprove. It's just a concept that Marx used, um, and it's incredibly useful, and I think that it explains pretty much everything there is to know about capitalism, but it's not, you know, it's not like something you can empirically prove, and neither is any neoclassical, um, marginal utility theory of value. Um, okay, so, uh, at the end of our last video, we had hammered, we had punched some trees into oak wood, and then we had changed the oak wood into these blocks, and then we had made the blocks into a crafting table. So what we have now, we have 16 oak planks, and we have this crafting table, and these are now uh, means of production. They have labor embedded in them, they have value because it took um, Steve's labor to create them, but... Um, we are not working on them anymore. We are using them to create other things. So let's go into our crafting table and make a couple of sticks. All right, so we have some sticks now. We just created new labor, but the sticks again are means of production. We're going to go in here and we're going to make a wooden ax. Bam, again, these are all means of production. We do not have a capitalist economy right now. Um, so we are not creating commodities in the capitalist sense. Commodities are any goods that were created to be sold. They're created, com a commodity is something that was created for its exchange value. Um, you don't, you know, if you're making, you know, if you're knitting a blanket for yourself, that is not capitalist production because you're not making it to sell on the market. You're just making it for yourself. Um. So that is the, the kind of the one flaw of using Minecraft to explain this is that we're not creating commodities yet, but it's good for understanding value at this point. So we have this axe. This axe is means of production. It has all of the labor. Here, look. An axe takes, a wooden axe takes three wood planks and two sticks. So it has embedded in it all of the labor that it takes to make three wood planks and two sticks. That is how the value of this axe right now. That value is embedded in the axe. It can't be taken away from the axe. Um, but so now we're going to go chop down more trees. And uh, remember the last time that we chopped down a tree? We had to punch it. Now we're using the axe, and it's going to go much faster. So let's do that. And you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen, the axe has a little use bar that just turned green, and it's going to go down the more we chop wood. That is um, the axe's uh, kind of health bar, I guess. 
When it gets to zero, the axe will break and we'll have to make a new one. But if you want to, you can think of that bar as uh, the kind of meter of the axe's stored value. What just happened was as we chopped down another tree, so the, some of the value embedded in the axe was transferred to these wood blocks. We are producing wood blocks out of the trees. The trees obviously have no value of themselves because they are just sitting around in nature. We are working them into, um, again, not commodities because we're not selling them on a market, but we are working them into something that has a use value. So this is what um, Marx would call the organic composition of capital when you're talking about commodity production. Um, since we're not talking about commodities, that term might be a little bit of a misnomer, but the concept still applies. Um, we saw that when we punched a tree, it took a lot longer than when we used the axe on it. Now, you might think that because punching it takes a little bit more time, it's more labor intensive than the axe, then punching the tree into a block, into a piece of wood, um, makes it more valuable than using the axe. That is actually not the case, because the axe is transferring its value, a little tiny bit of its value, into the value of the wood, in this case birch, that's this white one. So as we chop, it's taking less time, so there's less active labor being put into it, but some of the labor that is embedded in the axe from all the work we did punching the wood into the planks and then making the sticks and making this. So all of that labor, that, that value from that labor we did previously is embedded in the axe. And then the axe, because it's means of production, transfers it into these blocks. It is, uh, once you understand it, it's, it's one of those things where you... you most people wouldn't think of it themselves, at least I never did, but once it was explained to me that way, once I read it in capital, you know, it, it just, everything clicked. Okay, so if we were creating these, um, if we were creating commodities for sale on the market, let's pretend right now that our guy Steve, let's pretend that he's going to bring these to a market. He's a, he's not a capitalist because he didn't hire somebody to do this, but he's some kind of merchant um, producer who is going to create um, let's see what what can we make what's our what could be our commodity for this swords he's gonna create swords to sell them wooden swords so um, the organic composition of capital is the ratio of labor produ or value produced through active labor in the productive in the production process and dead labor um, which is transferred from the means of production actually you know what let's just do a quick thought experiment and we'll pretend that we are two separate people right now um, there's Steve who you just saw do all the work from the first video up to this one. Now let's pretend actually that Steve is a capitalist and he is going to hire somebody to make the swords. So he provides that person with the means of production. We will put everything that he doesn't provide them with outside. So he will provide them with the oak planks and the stick. So first let's make all the wood we have into planks. some sticks so everything we have in our inventory right now the sticks the oak planks the wooden axe which is a little less than halfway broken the birch planks and more oak planks all that stuff we created that's all through Steve's Steve's labor now just pretend that Steve gave these means of production to a worker he's gonna give him 52 oak planks and 30 sticks so for a new worker that's all he has just pretend we're pretending so he's going to go into here and he's going to make the wooden swords now here is the value of the wooden swords that he creates it's two planks and a stick but since this is a new production process 
he is combining the value added through the labor that Steve originally did, that we did in the first video and in the first half of this one. He's combining all of the labor that went into creating these. He's using that. These are the means of production, these two things, and this crafting table. He's going to go in here, and now he's going to add his own labor to create a bunch of wooden swords. This is the organic composition of capital. There are all these swords were added, were created through the value of the labor that Steve provided the means of production to, plus the dead labor from the oak planks and the sticks that Steve created himself. Um, that is uh, the basis of a lot of other Marxist concepts. Um, we could start talking about exploitation, but I think it's a little early for that right now. Um, right now, we're just talking about where value comes from in commodities. So if we're pretending that these swords are commodities, um, this sword's value is the value that the worker just put into it on the crafting table, plus all of the dead labor from the oak planks and the sticks. I hope this is making sense. Please leave a comment if there's anything unclear. Feel free to ask questions. Um, in the next video, we will continue with discussing the labor theory of value and its related concepts. Thanks so much.